for Natalia Jeffries. Uh, Natalia Jeffries is my baby. It's my heart and it's something I want to continue. I have a great passion for fashion, like you guys know. Destiny Designed, I want to take it further than only fashion designers. I want to do all entrepreneurs, um, maybe do more modeling. I'm really out for that. Um, I definitely want to, the first thing when I get home is show you guys my final gown because I feel like it deserves um, it deserves to be on social media so people can see that. So I'm heading to the question box. Um, yes, I'm missing my roommate a lot. Um, it's the funny other day after actually, she was also so emotional and um, I bonded with her this past 10 days. I got in bed with her and while she was crying, I literally, we hugged each other and we were just like, we have done everything we could and that should be enough. Uh, okay. So someone is asking, yeah, <laughs> I saw you are going to Jacksonville. Will you be visiting Demi? Yes, I am going to visit her. I'm really looking forward. Maybe we can go to the beach. Um, you did so well. Everyone here is so proud. Thank you so, so much. That's all I could have wished for. Okay, questions, guys. I'm only going to the question box. Where am I currently? I'm in Missouri in the United States. And then I'm heading back to Florida, to Jacksonville, back to Miami to fly back to South Africa. Uh, sorry, it's a lot of questions. Thank you for sticking around, guys. I'm looking for questions quickly. Okay, let's speak about this. Um, what went through your mind when they finished top 21 announcements? Um, the one thing I can remember was Slovak. So it's Natalie from Slovak Republic stood next to me. And I made such a good friend out of her and Czech Republic and Puerto Rico. That's like my closest friends I made. <laughs> she was actually so cute. Um, so with the last part, I, don't, I can't remember who was the last part, but she turned to me and she's like, it's going to be you for top 21. <laughs> I remember saying, Natalie, not going to lie. Like South Africa definitely doesn't have the largest population. So we can't win the votes. Like we, like I know my South Africans, fellow South Africans supported me so, so well, but like we aren't going to win the vote section. And I was like, no, it's not me because it's the votes. It's the public votes. And she's like, no, 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 it's you. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. And when it wasn't me, her face was like, literally <laughs> she was really 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 so sweet so what went through my head was i was disappointed um i didn't expect it because i everything went so so well interview went amazing i wasn't even stressed about interview i got to share myself i got to laugh with them um really i got the best questions what would i do with the platform should i win miss universe um what makes me beautiful uh, asked me about so many things that, that had so much substance. I felt so good during everything uh, that I didn't expect not to make it. But yet again, I'm like, who am I to judge? Like maybe they didn't receive me the way I expected. Just wasn't meant for me. Okay. Okay, so someone asked here. Yeah. Shame, yeah, Natalie was so sweet. She was so convinced that last spot's gonna be me. And I was like, girl, it's not. Um, any parting words from Demi and Zorzi? I really, really have to say Demi supported me. She phoned me every single day for like four days after the pageant, asking me how I'm doing. Um, I went to her hotel room afterwards and she just gave me so much hugs and comfort. And um, she was so supportive throughout the whole journey. I could really ask her any advice and I can't say thank you enough to her because it was so comforting knowing I had a fellow South African there supporting me like a sister. So a parting words, they were just so supportive of me and yeah, I'm really thankful. 
love from Thailand, Indonesia. I love you guys so much. Your delegates was so amazing. Um, do -do 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 -do. There's many questions on you. I'm not going to lie. My roommate was the best roommate ever. Like, Estefania, I'm going to visit Puerto Rico, like, really soon. Um, and if she gets married, I'm going to be at that wedding. I just invited myself. <laughs> um, so the inspiration behind my dress, I remember you, the Yula Shea team actually um, drafting so many sketches. And they did so much effort. And I feel like at the end, it... Like, there were so many things that influenced the final gown that I can't even begin to start anywhere. But they did so much effort in terms of drafting ideas and, and new designs. And um, I'll be forever thankful of them. How did you feel throughout the week in Miami? This is the weird thing. I felt incredible. I felt happy. I felt comfortable. Um, I didn't feel like any day uh, got the better of me. I was really optimistic um, and it was never about winning. It was never about achieving top three or top five, but it was just giving absolutely everything I had and improving from a South Africa and showing people that I've been working so, so hard and people saw that. And what would you have done with, uh, as you said that, Oh, Nia Sanchez. I actually met her after the pageants. She's just as beautiful in person as on social media. So someone, I'm seeing a lot of questions. Are you going to enter another pageant? Are you going to enter Miss Africa again? I'm not going to speak, um, you know, out of emotional place or, I'm, I, I'm to be honest, that didn't cross my mind. I'm really just going to focus on my business at this moment. Um, yeah, I haven't even thought about that. Then, guys, I'm almost going to love and leave you. So if you have any questions, um, I'm not going through the comment section. You are going to see my final gown. Can you give us a hint? Yeah, let me, why not be transparent? Can you give us a hint? What are the questions behind closed door interview? Love you, Queen. So this was a very interpersonal interview. It was all about um, your personality, your daily life, uh, what you do back home. And I felt really good about my questions that I got because you only get four minutes on the one panel and four minutes on the other end. So you only have eight minutes, which is really short. Like I feel like all the girls said it was really short. It went uh, it went by fast, so I knew when you got in there, you had to show everything you have to offer in that eight minutes. Um, so I got, they asked me about my COVID experience. Um, they did ask me what was the biggest challenge I faced during my childhood. They asked me, should I be Miss Universe? What would I do with the platform? Um, what makes me beautiful? What was the biggest um, challenge I faced this past year? Um, what else? why Miss Universe? Why did I choose Miss Universe? Um, I got questions where I got to show every single aspect of myself, why I should be Miss Universe, uh, what my good qualities and bad qualities are. I showed them that I can be vulnerable, I can be strong, and that was enough for me. I couldn't have asked for my interview to go any other direction than it did. Um, so just to be transparent, I actually wish they released the interviews because I was was really happy with mine. Next, favorite food in Miami, guys. The food in America is huge and a lot, and there's many things to choose from. <laughs> uh, any other questions? I feel like I have covered all the questions I've been receiving a lot. Um, did I expect to be in the top 21? I did. I did expect to. 
How was your interview? It was great. Do you miss Estefania? I miss her a lot. We really have a special bond and we got along so well. We have so many of the same traits and <laughs> she was actually more of the, she's so organized. She had eight suitcases and she would just open up one up, take the things out, close it back, like so organized. Every single night when I got back uh, to the room, I was like, Estefania, just give me, tonight i'm gonna clean it tomorrow like i can't be as organized and i only had like two suitcases that was laying out so do you wear makeup now yes i do have makeup on how's your business doing now due, due to COVID? it was a big knock and that's exactly why i started um destiny design because i knew that fellow designers went through the exact same thing um it was it was financially emotionally really hard and it's only starting to pick up now what was your biggest fear as you go through the pageant week my only fear i had competing for miss universe was not showing my full potential that's it and i know it's hard for people to believe saying that you know i got the question in my interview asking the first question i got was ah oh, the back to back uh, how's the pressure? And I laughed and I said, I so expected this question. Like actually on the first day arriving there, Portugal asked me that question. And I just said, you know, it's completely normal to feel pressure because I'm just a human being, but I know I have something so different to offer. Uh, the message that Demi had, that Samran had, that Zorzi had was so different to what I'm standing here and speaking about. And each year they look for something different and the one thing i love about south africa is we don't come to compete we come to represent and i feel like that's why we did so well and i was just so proud to walk in their footsteps i was just so proud to be able to come after them it was huge just going to miss universe just having that opportunity and um you know even though it didn't turn out as i expected and i was really working for that back to back to make history the only legacy i wanted to leave behind is knowing that i gave 110 percent in everything that i do whether that's crying whether that's doing a photo shoot having the best day of my life i was going to give every single thing that i had and that's exactly what i did and that's the legacy i want to leave behind is people knowing that wherever i'm going to go i'm going to give my 110 percent What is next? What's your next step? Oh, many things. Guys, I'm excited. I am, um, I always, I always, when I speak to God, I say, you know, you, you never know your timing on earth. And I always, when I speak to my sister, I say, if, if today's your last day, were you happy with the life that you lived? And that's the way I live my life is saying, I ask God, I'm like, please don't take me in the next 10 years because I have so many things I still want to do. And I'm so enthusiastic about life that I'm always excited about the next thing and the next thing. And I'm, and I'm thankful for having passions and doing things in life and inspiring other people. And I really, really hope to anyone watching this, sit back, it's, it's temporary. It's not something that's always going to... Um, like when I didn't win Miss South Africa, just an example, it was hard for me. Miss South Africa has been my dream since I was 12 years old. And I got, as a second runner up, the first second runner up ever to compete at Miss Universe for South Africa for that back to back win. And I took that challenge and I was like, that already showed me after Miss South Africa, there's going to always be the next and the next thing that excites you. And then you're going to be like, oh, okay, that's why my legacy is going to be a bit different. So I just want to, to say to every single woman out there, if you haven't gotten the job that you wanted, Miss Universe was a job application. If you didn't get that, the God really does know what he's doing. And in the next 10 years time, I'll maybe understand, but not if it's not today, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm really receiving so much love. Thailand, Philippines, you guys are amazing. Really, thank you. Um, so actually, um, someone's asking, do you teach uh, some of the girls Afrikaans words? I try to, but I actually learned a little bit of Spanish. So I know, um, buenos dias. 
Buenas noches. Um, qué bonita. Um, what else do I know? Mi nombre es Natasha. So I kind of, my Spanish fellow delegates um, taught me a few words. If you could go back in time, what would you change or choose differently? Nothing, really, really nothing. Um, I gave everything I had and I think that's why it was hard after the crowning, but that's why I know I'm going to be okay. It's because I knew I couldn't have done anything differently. I couldn't control the outcome. Um, guys, you are so kind. Okay. What else? What else? Do you think Mexico deserves the crown? Absolutely. Guys, even if things didn't turn out the way you wanted, um, the way I wanted it to turn out, she's so deserving of that crown. Her name was written on that crown even before she was born. And her journey was also such a long journey coming from Miss World. It was obviously also her dream to be Miss World or Miss Universe. And I think we should really support her endlessly. And she's so graceful and kind. Ooh, what is your advice for someone who wishes to be a Miss Universe delegate? Just know your why. Just know what you have to offer and know that that's enough. Um, because you can be, you can have the best performance, the best interview, and if it's still not going to be you, it's still not going to be you. And you have to be happy and content with that. Just plain and simple, that's really basically how I can say that. And my life coach Yvonne always says that this is just a blop on the radar. Who is Natasha without Miss Universe? Who is Natasha after this? Because this is just a title that's lasting for a year. And what you do afterwards is up to you. And you need to realize you're way and more beyond than just that title. Okay, guys, I'm going to love and leave you. It's only four minutes left. And I knew I was going to speak the whole hour because I was like, I'm going to cry a bit, laugh a bit, share a bit. Um, <laughs> we did all that. What are you wearing or who are you wearing? So this one shoulder top is from Zoe. It's a South African brand. Will you see your final gown? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I'm going down a list of questions. I think I've shared everything that I could. Um, hopefully this gave you more insights and I am doing well. And yes, I get my moments where I am disappointed and I cry and I wonder why and I ask the question why. And then there's moments where I'm so excited about what's next. And um, I'm just so thankful that I'm surrounded with family and friends. Um, I'm still traveling in the US. So I'm so glad I planned that. <laughs> Imagine flying back home after that. I'm so, so thankful that I get to stay here and explore a bit. I've got such good support from the organization. They check in every single day. I see you guys on social media, not only South Africans, but I see you guys right around the world supporting me, sending me love. And I really need it and I really appreciate it. And I'm going to continue sharing my journey. If you have any questions, DM me. I'll be active on social me media from here onwards. And I love you guys so, so much. And thank you for everything.